less than a week, I will no longer live in this house. Still sounds a bit unreal saying that. Sorry for the chaos. Um, I'm moving, so it's a bit messy. It's actually very messy, not, not only a bit. But yeah, it's been a long time since we last talked. And boy oh boy, I have a lot of news. First off, the van is done. Now I know what you're thinking. Jerome, what happened? In the last video, you were barely done with the electrical system. And you're right. When I started this whole series, um, I wanted to show what it's like to buy a van and build it out and document the whole struggles and stress that comes with it because that's the side of van building that I have never really seen on the internet. Most of the videos about van building only talk about how you build out a van and not really about the mental stress and like the, the emotional stress that comes with it. But when I got to around the middle of the build um, I noticed very quickly that in order to do a good job with this project it took over th the whole van building process. Basically I noticed that I was starting to dedicate so much time and effort to the videos that it would take too long for us to complete the whole van build. So that's why in the middle of the van build I decided to put the whole series on a halt and focus on getting the build done and ready for the trip. But now that the van is done, you guys are definitely overdue on a major update of the whole van build. So here's a quick summary. After the electricity, we started to build the furniture in the van. First, we installed the upper cabinets, which took us about two to three weeks. Yes, two to three weeks. Then we went to a carpenter who helped us make the sliding table and the kitchen countertop. After that we made some drawers. Then we installed the cladding on the wall and the ceiling. We made a seating area and we installed a heater. We made a gas box so that I wouldn't suffocate if there ever was a gas leak. Because apparently that happens. Kind of sometimes. <laughs> Today's big day because we are going to get our gas certificated. Um, anxiety levels are rising. I hope that we get through. And last but not least, we installed the floor and finished off with some details. Now what do I take away from this whole van build? The biggest thing that I learned during this project and the thing that I would tell everybody who wants to build a van, don't underestimate it. The thing is, what you see on the internet in van building tutorials and van life videos is a big difference from reality. And that's not to say that all these people are lying to you, it's just that it's impossible to sum up an entire van building project into little 10 minute videos. Because I have no carpentry experience, those cabinets took me 3 weeks to make. But every cabinet tutorial video that you can find on YouTube is only 10 minutes long. So it's impossible to document the entire effort and work that had to go into that. I don't want to discourage anybody to chase after their dreams, I'm all about that stuff. I just don't want you to be blinded from how easy people are making it seem on the internet. Also talking about the effort that went into this, I have to thank my dad. Um, he poured his heart and soul into this project just as much as I did and I wouldn't have been able to do it on the level that we did without him. He worked so much on this, like whenever I wasn't there, he would still continue working, sometimes even until late into the night. And I'm so thankful for that. So, merci pop. Then I also want to thank my mom. Thank you for being so patient through this entire project with me. And also thank you for making these slick curtains for the van. Um, they look pretty amazing, so, merci mom. And last but not least, um, I want to thank my girlfriend Ines. She was already there when I first dreamed about road tripping and van building stuff. Thank you for always cheering me up whenever stuff was hard. Yeah. Okay, now that you're all called up, 
let's get the tears out of here and let's talk about the big news. On the 31st of January, I am leaving for my big Europe road trip. Hey, Jerome from the future here. Um, I'm actually already on the trip and I left two days later, like on the 2nd of February. Yeah, but let's continue the video. But that's not actually the big news. I've been keeping a secret from you guys. I'm actually not going alone on my trip. Yo, yo. Mm -hmm. Meet Thomas, the most naturally funny person I know. We met about eight years ago in a summer camp and have been friends since. I can't even say what it is about him, but every time I see him, he just makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks ago, we already went on a first maiden trip just to see if the van fits two people. Und ist nicht zu klein. <laughs> we'll make it work. It's cozy. I'm so glad that I can finally announce that next week we are leaving for our first country on the list, which is Croatia. And with that said, I can finally say, I see you next week. But for real this time.